All right, welcome today. We are here at the Jamlijar Masjid, based over here in Uskudar, Istanbul. And this is my first impression. It is so grand. And it was only opened in the year 2019, so it's very new. And it's also inspired by the design of the famous architect Sinan. Over here, we can see that there's a private garden as well as conference hall. So private garden, conference hall, mosque entrance. There's a museum and the museum just opened yesterday on the 8th of April, 2022, we're speaking. So this has some Islamic historical relics. So I'm very excited to see them. Thank you. 
yourselves up to the uh, entrance to the prayer hall so you can get a glass lift if you don't want to use uh, the steps. In the samurai, Kojo Ahmed Yashari. Sit on those, magnificent. That's one way. Once you come into this main square area of the masjid, it is surrounded by many bookstores as well as different items. Like over here, you have these wonderful pictures and paintings, but you also have with calligraphy, the name of Allah SWT, and Arabic calligraphy, important names. And what's interesting is that this is the frame, but within the frame, you can see that the middle part where the Arabic writing is, the Quranic writing, or where the paintings are done, it's made of stone, so you can actually feel that. So the quality is really good, and it's only about 40 liras for, I think, for the small ones over here, and then I think it's 65 liras for this over here. But there's a lot of interesting things like this when you walk around, and really good books, and they're quite affordable as well. Okay guys, so this is Jamal Jamal Mosque. Uh, this was, the planning of this mosque began in the early 2000s and the architects of this masjid are two females. This masjid is inspired by the Ottoman architect, Mimar Sanan. So when you look around, you see the minarets, you see the domes, and this masjid has a staggering 70 domes. And it also contains six minarets. Now the minarets are each 107.1 meters tall. And why this is significant is because in the year 1071, Sultan al Proslan, who was the Seljuk Sultan, was able to defeat the Byzantines and he was the gateway to Anatolia, which is modern day Turkey. So this is very interesting. Now the project cost about $110 million approximately to make and this masjid opened in the year 2019. Another interesting fact is that when you go inside the, the main hall, and you see the member, the pulpit where the Imam sits. The cool thing about the member is that it's got like an elevator in it. And I've never heard of something like this ever before. I've been to many, many mosques, different countries, but it's actually got an elevator. Now, uh, they were saying that the Imam over here is very young, so he doesn't actually need it. But if an Imam that is a little bit elderly, maybe it's possible that he may require to go up uh, using 
the lift. So that's quite interesting. And another cool thing is that where the Imam prays, just beside that area, there is this is design of flowers. When you look closer to these golden flowers, there's like a couple of flowers and it's got these two dots. It's got these two black circles. Well, the two black circles, it's uh, very beneficial for people that are hard of hearing because when the Imam is re reciting, there's a special area in the masjid and there's a screen beside it as well. So those people with hearing difficulties um, are able to follow the Imam with much more ease. Okay, some more additional interesting facts is that when we were inside the masjid itself, there was um, someone I was working with in the masjid was telling us that the height between the ground and all the way up to the dome is about 72 meters, which signifies 72 ethnicities that live within Istanbul as a city. Now we are outside and I actually asked, asked that individual that why was this mosque, this grand mosque built over here in the Asian side in Uskudar. And they were saying that this is built on Jamlija Hill, which is the highest hill in the whole of this Asian area. So it is easy for people to actually see the mosque from a distance over the Bosphorus. And also that there was a requirement because of the fact that in the European side of Istanbul, there are many historical facts. There's the Topkapi Museum, there's like the Hagia Sophia, there's, there's the Blue Mosque, and, and there's the Galata Tower. But there's something grand missing in the, in the Asian side. So by coming here, I can see how huge this is and why they decided to build this. And it took almost like 20 years to build this as well, which is incredible. And when you come here to Jamlijar Hill, which is obviously located beside the masjid itself, there's a lot of people that sit down with their, with their picnic mats and as it's almost nearing iftar time and as it's Ramadan as well, people are waiting to break their fast as well. So it's a good area to actually come over here and break your fast. And you also get the view of the golden hour as well. The sun is setting at the moment. And also beside this hill, you have a children's play area as well. So there's swings and there's different other activities that children can do. And the hill also has different layers. Like you can go a bit more up so you can ascend up and there's more to see. So, and also you get a great view of the mosque itself. It looks absolutely marvelous. So you get a great view of the mosque, but then you also get a great view of the sun setting as well. So it's a great atmosphere over here and I can't wait to break my fast over here.